Hi here, Owen here. I thought today I'd discuss my 10 favourite action adventure, or basically role playing games, I should say, sorry. So, yes, I thought I'd do a top 10. So, on the Game Boy Advance era, there were some really good games on that, and one of them, what I enjoyed, was Golden Sun 2. I did play the first one, and I did at the time, and I just and after that I played the second one. Um, I thought the the mechanics in both games were good, but I actually enjoyed the second one story arc part type of thing, and you can do it in the second game if you played the first game and completed it. You can transfer your original characters from the first game onto the second game, and other bits and pieces, but I've, if I remember correctly, you had to use another Game Boy Advance to actually do that with a special password. Hmm. Rocket Fuel Coffee. Nice. Um, so yeah, that was number 10, Golden Sun 2. Number 9. This game came out on the very first Xbox, and it had uh, anniversary edition what came out on the free 360 I think it was like late last year early this year and that is fable I thought fable was a really good and interesting game for a role-playing game basically but <clears throat> and then when they bought because I chose my fable one because it was the original and I did stuck was thinking between Fable One or Fable Two, but everyone would, would remember more of Fable One, so that's why I picked Fable One as number nine. Number eight. This game just got um, remastered with its pre-sequel counterpart, uh, and that is Borderlands Two. Uh, reason I put this on this list, people will be going, Owen, it's not an action, or say, a role-playing game, it's a shoot 'em up And I would say I disagree, because it has, it's like, you have a skill tree based on it, you're levelling up, you're farming for legendary weapons, like you're doing, like, in like in action role playing games like like you do in Final Fantasy etc. So I would count it in that type of thing. Uh, so that was number eight, Borderlands two. Number seven is one of my personal favourite out of on the Game Boy Advance, and that is Pokemon Blue. Because I did have Pokemon Blue, Red, Yellow, Gold, and Silver on the original Game Boy. But Blue was my very first one, what I've got in the series. Um, and I did get all 150 legit, <laughs> uh, without using any actual replay codes. Because I did is, I had my Game Boy, and then I borrowed my sister's Game Boy, so I can transfer them onto one version. So, that took me like a whole year to get every single one of them to like a level 100 type of thing and then I did is when Pokemon Stadium 2 came out because I did is I reset Pokemon Red and just used Pokemon Red and then Pokemon Gold or Silver at the time to do real, to do the transfer breeding stuff so I can complete so I have like a mixture of little like Pokemon ready for different versions of the tournaments type of thing so that was number seven Pokemon Blue uh, this is a bit of a tide between these two. I know this is slightly breaking the rule of what one per franchise, but these two games are really good, <clears throat> and I still play them both because um, they're so addic addictively good. Um, Monster Hunter Three Ultimate and Monster Hunter Four Ultimate type of thing. With Monster Hunter Three, I that was my first gaming experience online playing with different people online <clears throat> and I've met a fellow gaming tuber 
I won't mention his name, but he knows who by saying this. And I, and I made good friends with him. With Monster Hunter 4, which just came out like since February, it's like I haven't stopped playing it. Since they changed like from, from Monster Hunter 3, from instead of swimming, you're doing free climbing, and people hated the water mechanics in the last game. And they had some interesting weapons and armor sets in the series. Because they did is, they took some old armor sets from previous Monster Hunter games and you have to mine for them in expedition mode. They added a few modes and features uh, for the 3DS version. I just wish Capcom made a Wii U version like they did for Monster Hunter 3. Because people like me can't afford a new 3DS. And I've noticed with the old... 3DS models, they keep on disconnecting, so hurry up Capcom and make Monster Hunter 4 for the Wii U. I really want it for the Wii U. Um, let's see. Number 5. This is an interesting game for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, World Ends With You. It was an interesting battle mechanics that you had to use both uh, Game Boy Advance screens um, instead of using like standard abilities you had to collect pins where certain clothes in certain areas certain foods in, in certain days will give you different boost stats I thought that was quite interesting as well as um, solving your own murder in the game I thought very interesting very interesting and I sometimes do play it once in a while when I'm in the mood for it. It's one of those games you would play over and over and over and over because the music in the game is interesting. Type of thing. Because the last five have really good music. I quite enjoy listening to because I would play them over and over and over again. So the last five, these are just basically my favourites because of the story plot, music and mechanics. Or most of them, some of them when I have certain gimmicky good mechanics, but certain things I like about on each of these last five. So, number five, World Ends With You. Number four, Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, at the Kingdom Hearts franchise at the moment, I enjoy two. I just, last Christmas, I had the HD collection of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And... I haven't even finished it yet. I've still got to fight, beat all the Organization 13 characters all over again. And beat the secret boss in the game, what I'm having a hard time with. But I still love playing it. It's one, one And the music in there, what they did the HD remastered on. Oh boy, they made the Pirates of the Caribbean theme track from, from, uh, from the original Kingdom Hearts 2. If you hear the original one and then the HD version, you will like the HD version because the original PS PS2 version was bad. Not awful, but bad. Because you just want to finish that level off quite quickly. But when you hear it on the Final Mix version on the PS3, you're like, yeah, I'm happy. Because um, Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my favourite Disney movies. And my partner's as well, one of them anyway. So, yeah. And as well, the extra additional final form or, or outfits for Sora to use in the Kingdom Hearts 2 game was r really good. I st that's why uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 is in number 4. Number 3 is from the 3DS era. Uh, I got it like two Christmases ago. And I still play it because it's so addictive. The music is perfect. Um, I should say that if Square Enix was doing another um, original Final Fantasy game, and I know this is their own game yet again, this is another game of their IPs, um, they should go back to their original roots with this game. They were using this game for a new uh, Final Fantasy game, and that is uh, Bravely Default. Um, I love Bravely Default because of the 
Joke world mechanics were back, like they had the in the original Final Fantasy series. And instead of doing having like one job role as your for, for for one role for your character, you can fuse like two job roles together as one. For example, you can go with a black knight with a sword mage, so you can constantly do like moves that does like 999 damage which takes half your health but you gain half your health back or you can combine white mage with spiritualist um spiritualists are like um elemental mages what uh what can uh, improve your amp up your elemental damage or absorb elemental damage so basically instead of getting hit taking the damage you absorb it to increase your hp back up so yeah i i enjoyed the game and I just completed the second walkthrough of the game, type of thing. There was some interesting mechanics, but there was like one I really didn't like, and that was like the clock system thing, like like your bravery second thing. It was called, I think, or yeah, second, yeah, bravery second, um, where like you you can use it to freeze time for a short period of time, do a crazy amount of damage. When you when you use all that up, you got like two choices that you can buy more. Off the eShop or put it face down for like for a couple of hours. I didn't like the money scheme or for that. So if they kept it with the face down thing, that would have been fine. Um, so yeah, number three, bravely default. The second one is a classic JRPG on the 360. Um, Eternal Sonata, if I pronounce that right. It's an RPG. What was very beautiful and interesting at the time and if you played the game you noticed the weapons were like musical instruments like the hammer was like this little boy's hammer slash pistol was like a i think it like an, a wind instrument then another character's weapon is a sword but it was a violin type of thing and uh like a young girl character has an umbrella was actually a flute and so forth and so forth there was like different styles of instruments as weapons I thought that was an interesting art design they did and I thought taking the the mechanics so they can like take turns with a timer on it so you try to hit a creature how many times you can do before time is run out of your turn of your character's turn so I thought that was good for that so number two was Eternal Sonata. Number one is my personal favorite out of JRPGs and out of the Final Fantasy franchise. Um, and that is number nine. The reason I like number nine was the music. The main hero, Sedan, and VV the Black Mage. Uh, when you see... When you get through the storyline when you see Sadang go into his limit break he just looks like a pink Super Saiyan 4 type of thing I know originally Super Saiyans are like a reddish color but but you know it was just funny to see that he just looked like a Super Saiyan 4 so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and um let me know down in the comments what's your favourite JRPGs or um, action, or say role-playing games. Um, I would be in, really, really interested in your comments. I'm, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully in the future there'll be some more dueling videos. And hopefully I might be in, doing a podcast or something in the late future when I sort out my tablet and laptop. So yes, I will speak to you guys soon. Ciao!